A flood tide of filth is engulfing our country in the form of newsstand obscenity. The news today seems as though it was ripped right out of the pages of a spy thriller. A high school dropout turned NSA super whiz leaks government secrets and goes on the lam. You know that once a person is perverted, it is practically impossible for that person to adjust to normal attitude. But it's not James Bond's latest movie, it's the story of Edward Snowden, now wanted for leaking some of America's most confidential information. The United States Supreme Court has described it as dirt for dirt sake. It's been a month now since Edward Snowden abandoned his country, essentially defected, leaving his job at the NSA in Hawaii determined to reveal some of this country's most sensitive secrets. But through this salacious material, these abnormalities are corrupting the minds and the hearts of our children. Under indictment for espionage and on the run from the FBI with four laptops loaded with America's most sensitive secrets. The military of the United States Attribute the moral decay among our people in very large part to the obscene and pornographic literature so prevalent in our society. Uh, Mr. Snowden uh, is wanted on felony charges and that he should, uh, as such, should not be allowed to proceed with any further international travel except as necessary to return him to the United States. This moral decay weakens our resistance to the onslaught of the communist masters of deceit. This is a deliberate choice by the government to release a fugitive despite a valid arrest warrant, and that decision unquestionably has a negative impact on the U.S.-China relationship. You've seen the nature of the problem. You've heard the legal solution. But what can you as an individual in your own community do? U.S. officials say they still don't know the full toll of the damage they claim Snowden has done. But Secretary of State John Kerry put it bluntly, people may die as a consequence of what this man did. We must seek to deliver ourselves from this twisting, torturing evil. We must save our nation from decay and deliver our children from the horrors of perversion. We must make our land, the land of the free, a safe home. Oh, God, deliver us, Americans, from evil. Officials say they still don't know the full toll of the damage they claim Snowden has done. <laughs> right, so you're the official government spokesperson exactly. acting as if the entire program, pay no attention to the man right. behind the curtain. Right. 